morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good. What are you eating? I'm eating yogurt. What's in there? Um, spring twist. Oh my goodness. We're at the stage where all of her foods have to have sparkles or sprinkles. Shout out to my BFF for sending this to us. If you've never heard of it before, like me, it's a company called Runamuck. Is that how you say it? Yeah, Runamuck. And it's sparkly maple syrup. See the sparkles? There, it now shows up. This actually has two ingredients, maple syrup and mica-based pearlescent pigment. So, it's... <laughs> that sounds healthy. It's maple syrup. Have you seen this stuff at, like, Walmart? Like, no. you know Walmart has, or, like, not just Walmart, but anybody, like, big retailers, they'll have, like, unicorn popsicles or, like, mm -hmm. you know, mermaid ice cream, and it has all these weird ingredients in there, and it, it doesn't even look like food. It's probably but not. This is actually maple syrup, so I appreciate that, and I tasted it, and it does taste like maple syrup. She loves it. She loves sparkles. She loves sprinkles. That's what she puts on all of her foods. She's like an elf. <laughs> I've started a little project and quickly realized I forgot the camera. So, let me show you what I'm doing here. I was uh, coming home from work one day and this right here, a rock came up and smacked the lens and the lens flew off. So, got a replacement piece off of Amazon right here. So, I'm going to throw this in real quick. It's pretty straightforward to take out since it's up here like this. There you get up here with a little trim tool. There's two little tabs here and here. You pop those out. And there's also a tab right here. You just come in through here with a screwdriver, pop that out, and it pretty much falls out. I mean, there's a little gasket up here that's kind of kind of sticks a little bit. But once you're done, just go up here with your finger, make sure there's nothing up there. Unplug it, plug it in, and pop it in. So that's what I'm doing here. And just like that, she's in. Okay, so, all right. One project done today. Now we also have a new um, bed frame coming. So I have to take our old bed frame apart, find out where we're gonna keep it. As you see, garage just has become a mess. It's just that time of year. Oh, check this out. So my brother-in-law got me this a couple years ago. It's a gyroscopic little, little tool. It has a button here, you push it, and then when you twist it, it spins. So as you rotate it, and we'll go backward and then forward. It's pretty cool. We need to get, I don't need that. I need this little guy. And I'll need, I, so this thing has a magnet on it. I just threw some screws in right there. Boop. That's how it hangs up, in case you're curious. Uh, let's see, so I'll need this. They're supposed to be here between two and four, I think. So I will take the mattress off. We'll take some pictures of the thing so I can post it on uh, marketplace, whatever. Try to sell it, take it apart, and find a place to put it. It's probably it's probably going to go in a guest bedroom, which oh my gosh, it is a nightmare in there. I got to get some of this stuff done. I got I got too many irons in the fire. First step is let's measure. The old bed. Got my little helper with me. And later on, I watch TV, of course. Huh? Later on, when the guy comes, I'll just, I'll just come watch TV. One of the greatest movies ever is on TV. Daddy, is Home Alone on? Huh? Is this Home Alone? Yeah, it's Home Alone. So here's our current bed. You like that bed? Yeah. yeah. I'm getting one of these beds. <laughs> so all we're replacing is the frame. We're not replacing the mattress because they're thousands of dollars and it's ridiculous. Like why are mattresses so expensive? 
82 inches wide, 94 inches long. This is a guest room. It uh, has seen better days. It's a mess from uh, the office. See the transformation of turning that into the office to it has some army stuff to do. Um, this room kind of just became a um, well mess. Okay, I'm gonna just preface this by saying this video today is sponsored by the real and raw life of the Marlers. I'm not even gonna put makeup on for this because. Um, you guys are just gonna see everything as is and just... Here's the thing. At what point do you just decide to sell your house and buy a new one that you like better? Because the one that you have, you're changing every single room to be the way that you want it. Does that even make sense? So here, this is our life. This is what we do all the time. We think of a project and we're like, oh yeah, that would be pretty easy so let's go ahead and, and do that thing let me let me just rewind for you so a few months ago Tim plopped down into our bed which is right here unmade and there's a reason for that he plopped down in the bed and we heard crack and we were like what was that so something wooden underneath broke Time for a new bed. We went and we ordered some furniture. The way of the world is now, when you order anything, I feel like it takes months to get in. They quoted us sometime in November or December, and it is now the second week of December, and our furniture is in. It's being delivered today, and we, we knew about this all week, but for some reason in our heads, we weren't thinking that we need to get rid of the stuff that we have to make room for the new stuff. Like, I don't know why we weren't even thinking about this. Um, so right now it's 1145 and the delivery people are coming in a couple hours. They're going to be here at like two, it's, I think they said between two and four. Right now we've been quested with figuring out what to do with our bed. Now, like I said, Tim did kind of rig it up to where we've been sleeping on it just fine, but you have to kind of get in bed real slow and soft and you can't just plop into it anymore. But we don't want to get rid of it. We don't want to trash it because there's really nothing else wrong with it. We're just not ready to let go of it. So we were like, where can we put it? Well, we have a guest bedroom, but it already has a bed. It has a queen bed. Hi. And so we were thinking, well, what do we do with the queen bed if we put the king bed in that room? And will it even fit? Because it's a smaller room. So we measured and found out that this bed will fit in there. Tightly. Tightly. But then we have to do something else with the queen bed. And we can get rid of it, but it has a little bookshelf that matches it. And so we're like, well, we need to get rid of both of them at the same time, because if somebody wants this, and they're probably going to want that, and whatever. Before we sell it, we don't have anywhere to put it. So we were like, well, let's just keep it and make it Stories Furniture, because she still has her crib, her little convertible crib. So we talked to her about it, because she was really heart set on a bunk bed. But we were like, you know, do you want this bed instead for now until we can get a bunk bed? And she was on board with that. So we had to take apart her crib to be able to fit the guest bedroom bed into her room. And then we're going to put that furniture over there. And then we're going to put our old bed in the guest room. But because it's so big and the guest room is so small, now the closet door won't open all the way. I have a solution. What is it? We'll take the door off and put a barn door on there. So that's what I think we're going to do. So somehow we went from <laughs> our bed breaking to putting a new barn door on the closet in the guest room and giving Story a new bed. So remember I told you guys this is going to be a raw video and this is why because this guest bedroom has become the dumping room in our house. We have old lamps, we have exercise balls, we have uh, keyboard stands, we have mattress toppers rolled up in the corner, we have Christmas trees that has, haven't even gone out yet. There's all kinds keyboard. of stuff. So we have to hurry up though and get this out of here so that we can move our old bed in here so that when the delivery people come, they can bring it upstairs. Because mm -hmm. they're bringing it up here, right? Yeah, I assume. Don't they set everything up? I'm pretty sure, but... Remember the guy showed up at like 10 o'clock one night for our uh, chest yeah, of drawers? Yeah, but that was, that was Ashley Furniture. This is Haverty's. Oh. But I feel like it's like yeah. a higher-end company, so they will. Mm -hmm. Plus, we paid for delivery, so I feel like... Yeah. Delivery and setup? 
Don't just drop it off in the door. I don't know. You're one person. So, you can't do it anyways. So, uh, excuse Never mind. Tell me I I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> don't ever tell him he can't do something. So that's what we're going to do really quick. We're going to clean up this mess and move some stuff around. This is the closet door we were talking about. So once we get the actual king bed in here, this up. door is going to hit the side of the bed. It'll open up that much. Yeah. So we're going to take this off and then put a barn door I'll take this off. or a sliding door, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And it's going to slide this way. Yeah. Maybe I'll even make the hole bigger. Take the trim off. Just... That's a lot of... We, we have to like be realistic too about how much time we have and we still have a project over there that isn't finished. Do y'all want to see that? Because we haven't even told them about that. A couple that. more days. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mess over there too, believe it or not. This whole house is a mess it seems like. We have, we have so much stuff. We always get more stuff every week. More stuff. But it's not stuff. Stuff. It's projects that are halfway finished. No, it's stuff that has no place to go. We That's have to do because, a project because, to make the stuff have a place. But when the project is done, the stuff has the place. Okay, I wasn't going to show you guys, but now I kind of want to just to defend myself. <laughs> what? I want to show them that room. Then show them. But I kind of want to wait because that's a whole separate video. So, okay, so hold on. So, uh, we st I started in that project, right? At that room turning it into an office and there's still like some trim work needs to be done the baseboard needs to be done but before I could get it moved all, all completed um, something happened and we had to move the desk in right away now the desk is in there and I just well it wasn't it wasn't that something happened okay I'll just give you a really quick like what it is and then we'll do it in another video you guys will just have to stay tuned for that um, basically, that room over there was Story's nursery, and we moved her over to a bigger room so that she has more space for her toys, her bed, blah, 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 which is a good thing because now she's getting this big bed. It would never have fit in there. So instead of having a nursery or a bedroom over there, we turned it into an office space because we didn't really have an official office space, especially for filming. If we want to do any sit-down videos, which we don't really do because we don't have an office, um, but now we have a place that we can close the door, set up lights, that kind of thing. So that's the intention for that room. So Tim did some built-ins and we have bookcases to finish. We repainted, put the desk in there. And so we were kind of in a hurry to do that so that I had a place to put my computer and work at instead of working on the bed every day. So that was like really the reason that we put the desk in there. Once we got that in there though, we went on vacation in August and we were like, we can't start anything now until we get back from vacation. And then we got back from vacation, it was our birthdays, and then it was just something, you know, one thing after another. Now it's Christmas, and now there's Christmas boxes all in there, presents, you name it. What's that? Oh, that's a Christmas present right there, speaking of. Yep, sure is. We gotta hide that before she comes back up here. Phase one is complete. We have taken out the bed. We have taken out the door for the closet it's in the hallway right there we're basically just cramming everything in that room for now <laughs> and just kind of playing musical rooms with all of our stuff so we set up the bed in story's room over there and then i'm washing all the sheets now so we can set all that up and then we're going to bring our old bed over here. So these pictures gotta go. Yeah, that's fine. These Those are just... Well, wait, that one can stay, can't it? The big oh. one? No, look how tall I am. Look where the headboard comes up to me. Oh, it well. might be... It's close. Close. I think it's gonna be like just at the right spot. I think it might be okay. Mm. Let's, mm. let's try. Nah. These little ones are fine. I just, I had those from like, I don't know, they're old. They were just put up just to have something in this room. Do you remember back in like the 90s when the DVD came out? Mm -hmm. Check this bad boy out. <laughs> this is a VCR DVD combo. Woo! Ooh, it still works too. 
songs that I used to pick up chicks. <laughs> you want to come see my VCR DVD, DVD combo? Girl. But we have to get this out of here too. What? This thing. Because our dresser has to come in here. Are we getting a new dresser too? Yeah. Oh, hell. Okay. So but see, like, I like this in here for the guest room. This has all of our, like, books and then, like, yearbooks from school and things what that... What guest to see our yearbooks? That makes no sense. Well, if we have friends, well, me, if I have friends, come and stay with us. Or, like, my mom or somebody comes and stays. It might be nice to you look at. You sound like I don't have any friends. <laughs> you don't have any friends that are going to come spend the night with us. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know. I don't, this I guess could go on the built-ins that are supposed to go downstairs in the living room someday. That's what that would be for. Books. I don't, I don't know where it's going to go. Well, it needs to stay with the bed that it matches. In her room? Yeah, but then no. I guess that white thing needs to come out? Mm -hmm. Do we have to do this today? Well, where's the, where is it going to physically be? Because it has to be out of the way for the new stuff. That's the problem. And time is a ticking. Yes. So let's, okay. Okay, here's what we'll do. <laughs> right. So we'll get the bed in here first. Yeah. Let's worry about the bed. The dresser, we might just stand it up on end and just slide it in this room and deal with all this other dresser nonsense. What do you mean? Slide the new dresser in no, here? the old one. So empty it and slide it in here Where's somewhere. Everything? Where's everything going to go that's inside of it? In the new one. And the new bed doesn't have drawers, does it? I thought we did. I don't remember. Was... Oh my god, it was like three months ago. I don't know. I have no idea. What are we getting? <laughs> are we getting... They're going to come with a whole room full of stuff. I honestly don't remember when we were standing there. I, th I feel the... like we were like, yeah, let's just get yeah, that too. I, I tried looking it up and it just says, oh, you you have no payment due this month. It doesn't tell us what we're getting. Oh, oh no. no. They're here. Oh no, this is just UPS. <sighs> okay. Close call there. Just UPS. I think that's our box from... Praxy Design. Oh, it's from Megan. Megan sent us a Christmas gift. I'll burn on the Here is the reason that we got a new bed to begin with. This yeah. piece that those slats were kind of screwed into, right? Is that how this went? Yep, they were screwed into off. that piece, and then that piece it ripped off one day. Just kind of. Well, not just kind of. I plopped down on the bed, and it just it broke. Yeah, like it's separating from that part. So I glued it, and I went downstairs, you know, cleaned it up. I glued this piece onto this, and I screwed it to it all nice and tight, but I guess some of the screws are starting to break. Uh, the glue is starting to separate, so. It was just weak after yeah, so it I'm, broke, I think. It's gonna be a guest bed, so it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be fine. So I'm going to take this piece off, clean everything up again, re-glue everything, re-screw everything, and it is what it is, I guess. So that means if you're ever a guest at our house and you're sleeping in the guest room, just get into it gingerly or you might end up on the floor. Here's an update on this room. <laughs> we've got the bed out and in there. We've got the dresser drawers tell, out. Tell them why we got the bed out. Why we got it out? That's... I did tell them. It's because we're getting a new bed. We crammed our mattress in here until the new frame gets in. And I think we ultimately decided that the king bed in this room is just too big. It's just too big. See that? Like, it would fit, but it's just obnoxious. And since it's in disrepair, it's just probably worth it to either give it away or, you know. Trash it dispose of it. Okay, things got a little crazy there for a minute, but we're back. It's a few hours later, and we have furniture now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, but just understand that, like, I don't have sheets on. I don't have everything put 
away, but the furniture is here. So this is our dresser, and I know you're probably thinking, well, that doesn't look a lot different than what you had before. And you're right, but it is higher quality. The drawers are deeper, which makes a huge difference in my opinion. And it's also the soft closed drawers. It's just altogether just nicer quality. And it kind of still matches the old stuff. Like I know you can probably tell in the video that this is lighter. This chest of drawers is much lighter, but in real life, it actually doesn't look too much different. And eventually we may do away with that or get something else too. I don't know yet. And then this is our bed. So it matches the finish of the dresser, which is right here. And it's pretty similar to what we had before. It's got the drawers right here on the foot, so we can put socks and things like that. And then we kept the old nightstands from before. Because again, they still kind of match, and I'm not, you know, I didn't want to full out spend $5,000 on an entire new bedroom set. But we did need a new bed, and the dresser, um, I think it was just a good deal or something like that, so we ended up getting that too. But there it is. And I know what you're also probably thinking, because I'm thinking the same thing. This is not centered on the wall. And there's a reason. It's because this is a king bed, and if we were to center it on this wall right here and scoot it away from the window, then you wouldn't be able to open the door and go in and out of the bathroom right here. But I think what I'm going to do, and Tim's probably going to kill me when he comes back, but... I think I want to try to put this bed on this wall because the wall is larger and I just think it would make me happier because I really don't like the bed blocking the window over here. We've had it this way before and there was an issue and I don't remember what it was and that was the main reason that we moved it to begin with. And I wish I could remember, I want to say it was this chest of drawers. It was just in the way or it it was too wide or something to fit over here. Like it wouldn't fit on this wall and it wouldn't quite fit on this wall, if I remember correctly. <sighs> this room is just not meant to have a king bed in it. I truly do think when they built this house, they meant for it to be a queen bed and nothing bigger. Because that's really all you could put right here. Tim also posted the old bed on our neighborhood Facebook page just to see if anybody wanted it for free or whatever. And we don't have any takers yet, so now we have to decide how long we want to let it hang out in the guest bedroom, or if we want to try to put it together and then buy another mattress and put it on there for the guest bedroom, which I'm like leaning against because I don't I think it's too big for that room. And then we were like, well, we could just put it out in the trash or just at the end of the driveway and see if somebody comes by and picks it up. But it's supposed to rain and trash day was yesterday. So it would have to sit out there for a whole week and like, you know, somebody might not take it. I don't know. I don't want stuff sitting at the end of our driveway for a week. And we took the crib apart. So then we were like, well, Story has to have somewhere to sleep tonight, so she has to sleep on the queen bed. We can't put the queen bed back in the guest room right now. So what we could do is go look for a bunk bed for Story, or just something else for Story, and then take that queen bed and put it back in the guest bedroom, and then just get rid of the old king bed. This is really confusing. I'm sorry. This is just, I'm just kind of talking it out with you guys, because I'm really kind of lost. I don't know what to do, but we'll figure it out, right? It's what we do. We just move our chaos from one room to the next until it's all put away and put together. <laughs> and here's the old king bed. It's just going to kind of hang out disassembled in this room until we figure out what to do. And Tim already prematurely removed the closet door from this closet, thinking, you know, we're going to have a king bed in here and it won't open and we'll just do the barn door. But now that we're like, oh, this king bed is way too big, it's ridiculous, let's go back to a queen, and we could just put this back on and not even worry about the barn door. So. I will say this about the bed. It's a lot more <laughs> firm. It, it really is. Like the slats under the old bed must have really well, been a couple of them were bendy. broke and they were just old and warped and worn out. Because we got that in 2014, I think. That's when we yeah. got the mattress at least. Yeah. 
So yeah. it's been around for a while. It's not like that old, but I, mean, I think we just like moved so much with it. Yeah. We also didn't have one of those bunky boards right. over it. We just had the slats. Yeah, we don't have a bunky board under this one. Yeah. We, we, but it's weird because we were supposed to. That was the whole reason we got this thing. Well, guy, no, it's not. The well, the guy talked us. Me. The guy talked us into getting a bunky board. It was with a this woman. One. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe she looked like a guy. It was a woman, <laughs> and we talked about it, and we, because we didn't have one before, and she was like, "Oh, you really should have had one." And we were like, "Oh, I, I mean, I didn't know because I've I, always had box springs on my beds, not yeah. bunky boards." And then we also, I, when they said that, I was like, "What's a bunky board?" <laughs> so did I. Like, I. I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> uh, do you mean boogie board? Because that's what you ride the waves with, right?" But, uh, no. So, but I, I, I thought, I guess we both thought that we were getting one and we didn't. So I guess we still need to follow up on that to see if there's one coming or if we actually didn't order one and we still need to yeah. or what we want to do. But we need to protect this bed better than we did the old one. Well, the bed frame. The frame, the yeah. slats, whatever. Yeah. We just need to keep it mm. in good shape. I don't know if we said this or not, but it's been a couple of days. <laughs> Obviously, I'm wearing makeup, so it's not as raw anymore as it yeah. was that that day. Um, but I like the bed. I like the furniture. We've got everything moved into the dresser now, and I think it works nice. It looks nice. Yep. So and then I'm I've happy. got a. Uh, I found a person on uh, in the neighborhood. They need a bed, so I said, "Well, I got a bed frame." And they said, "Oh, how much you want?" I said, "You can have it. Uh, he'll be here in a couple of days. Pick it up." Did you tell then, him that the side is a little bit broken? It was in the post. I'm not. Oh, okay. He commented on I'm the post. Not, I'm not. Um, well, I, just I, guess it to... was, I guess it was his mom. So, because she said, my son could really use that. We'll take it. I said, perfect. Okay. She said, can I come get it tomorrow? I said, nah, the next day would be better. So. Uh, I mean, as long as they know that they're, it's yeah. not like brand new or perfect and they're going to probably have to fix that. No, that's fine. So. Um, so other than that, yeah, been a good, good weekend. The only thing we have to do now is, I guess, find Story a new bed. <sighs> yeah. I'm not caving on that. We have a deal, right? She still wears diapers to bed. Um, we made a deal with her that if she can go three days in a row with a dry diaper, um, we can get her a new bed. Now... Granted, I understand she's a four-year-old. It's going to come down to one of one of two things. Either we're just going to have to get her a new bed and let her pee in it and figure it out. Mm -mm. Or we're going to have a guest come and stay with us and they're going to need a bed. And we're going to have to get that bed that she's using back into the guest room for the guest. And then she's going to need something. We've got to pull that couch downstairs. See, oh, I'm a solver. A I'm a problem out. solver is what I am. <sighs> or just... Hey, don't come right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll figure it out. It's just you know, it's just yeah. whatever how it is. We just live in shambles sometimes. <laughs> it's all for the greater good. It's gonna be great when it's all done. Maybe one day, I might get a haircut. It's getting a little. And one day, I'll go to bed before midnight. <laughs> right. <laughs> On that note. We're going to end it here and then see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.